Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, precocious puberty and uh, primary amenorrhea. Uh, our objectives, the things that we want to highlight today is um, we're going to go through multiple choice questions uh, and highlight some aspects of precocious puberty uh, and primary amenorrhea. Uh, we'll go through the primary pubertal milestones, differential diagnosis, investigations, and management issues. Uh, all of the following are truths made true statements about normal pubertal development except the average duration of puberty takes about four to three uh four point two years the average time lead uh lapse between uh tilarchy and menarche uh is uh, two to three years most girl at menarche have achieved tanner uh stage five breast and pubic hair development uh, by the age of 15, 98 percent of girls will have achieved menses. Uh, the earlier the onset of puberty, the shorter the duration of puberty. So this is an MCQ question, and what it wants um, is um, uh, all um, are normal except. So the earlier the onset of puberty, the shorter the duration of puberty. There's no uh, correlation between the onset and the duration of puberty. So normal pubertal development, um, usually uh, this is how it goes. Uh, so tilarchy, uh, growth spurt, uh, pubic air, uh, peak growth velocity, then the, um, the girl will have her uh, menarche, adult pubic hair, and then adult breast development. This is uh, MCQ again. Uh, so an 18 month old uh, presents to the office with breast development, but no puber uh, puberty or uh, vaginal bleeding. Uh, bedside, um, uh, beside the um, uh, meticulous history and physical examination, which of the following investigations would be most helpful? So this patient is coming with some breast development. So investigations, do you do an estradiol, basal LH or, L or FSH, uh, GnRH stimulation test, bone age, or MRI of the brain? So we do the bone age. So bone age, uh, if the bone age is greater than two standard deviation than the chronological age, this is an unlikely um, a normal variant, may need two x-rays that are six months apart to look for uh, acceleration. So always in um, a girl that's presenting with uh, premature telarchy, uh, you need to follow uh, for progression or regression of um, uh, the manifestation. So too early, you have your incomplete and you have the complete. The complete is usually center, it's uh, true, it's GnRH dependent, um, or it's peripheral and it's pseudo GnRH independent. Uh, for the incomplete, it's usually a normal variant. So um, you either have the premature tilarchy, classical or non-classical, premature adrenarchy, premature minarchy. Uh, it could be slowly uh, progressive, non-progressive, um, and we're going to discuss each one of them in the coming slides. So precocious puberty, uh, is pubertal development outside normal temporal range? Uh, what is the mechanism and is it due to serious medical conditions? If pubertal development uh, going to progress and if so, will it impair the physical and psychosocial development? So which of the following clinical scenarios would be the most concerning uh, to represent um, underlining pathology as a mechanism for pubertal development? Uh, development of the first sign of puberty in a girl that is eight years of age, development of a sign of puberty in a girl that is seven years with no increase in the lean uh, growth over six months, development of Tanner stage three breast and pubic hair in the last six months in a girl that is seven years, uh, development of isolated Tanner stage two pubic hair in a girl that is six, or development of isolated Tanner stage two breast development in a girl that is two years of age. So the correct answer is development of Tanner stage three breast and pubic hair in uh, the last six months in a girl that is seven years of age. So what is too early? Traditionally, the definition of precocious puberty is secondary sexual characteristic before the age of eight uh, and menarche before the age of 10. 
who should be investigated? So anybody that is coming with tilarchy or uh, puberty um, uh, and is less than seven years in uh, white population and less than six years of age in black population. Um, a girl that is uh, six or seven and she's white or eight and she's black with rapid progression of uh, puberty and exhibit acceleration in the bone age for more than two years or leaner growth uh, that is predicts uh, that predicts her height is less than 150 centimeters. Uh, girls with uh, contrasexual uh, precocious puberty or new um, CNS symptoms. So this is another uh, MCQ. Um, a 20 month old with uh, follow up, two episodes of vaginal bleeding over the previous two months. Her height is on the 90th uh, percentile for age. Uh, no puberty, bone age is 30 months. Uh, estradiol is 91. GnRH stimulation test basal level of LH is 3 and FSH is 4.8. Uh, peak level of LH is 21.7 and the FSH is 7.4. Pelvic ultrasound shows bilateral enlarged ovaries uh, and uterus. The most likely diagnosis now is classical premature tilarchy, hypothyroidism, juvenile granulosa cell tumor, hypothalamic hem uh, hematoma, or uh, macon albright syndrome. So the uh, diagnosis here um, is the hypothalamic hamartomas. And we will discuss why in the following slides. So the GnRH stimulation test, uh, this is the protocol and this is how it's done. Uh, so usually you're gonna give the uh, patient uh, GnRH about uh, 60 um, uh, grams per meter square IV. And then you're gonna measure the LH and the FSH. Um, and, uh, sorry, you measure the LH and the FSH prior, so prior uh, to giving the GnRH, and then you measure it at zero hours, and then you measure it at 60 minutes. Uh, you will find in some studies that they uh, measure it at 15, and then at 30 minutes, and then at 60 minutes. So it depends on the protocol and on uh, what uh, the hospital is using. So to say that this um, uh, patient has central precocious puberty, uh, you're going to find that the pubertal LH is dominant. Uh, response. So the LH will be increased more than um, eight international units per liter at a peak, uh, or you're going to find that the LH is increased seven times uh, from the baseline. يعني لو واحدة كان ال LH حقها لما بدأت um, let's say one or two uh, after an hour when you measure it after giving the GnRH. Um, uh, uh, to this patient, it's going to be six times increased, uh, seven times increased. Okay, يعني تقريبا حيكون أربعتاش أو أكثر. في the premature tilarchy, بيكون عندي اللي هو prepubertal FSH is dominant. Okay, so في tilarchy, عادة the FSH will be dominant. In the GnRH independent causes, you're gonna find suppressed response uh, for the LH and the FSH. Okay, so. Um, Always remember in central, the LH will be dominant and it's increased from the baseline by seven or it could be more than eight uh, international units. For premature tilarchy, it will be, you will find that the FSH is dominant and for LGNRH independent, the response is gonna be suppressed. Yani, the FSH and LH will be low. Uh, GnRH uh, dependent or progressive central causes, idiopathic causes account for 74%. CNS lesions such as the hypothalamic hematomas, uh, other tumors such as craniopharyngiomas, uh, gliomas, LH secreting adenomas, uh, cerebral malformation, um, or CNS infection, abscess, uh, head traumas, or CNS radiation or neurofibromatosis, those all will account for 7% of the uh, causes. 
We have a seven year old with new onset of vaginal bleeding. Her review of systems indicates lethargy, a BMI of 28.9, two, two, uh, two, <laughs> T2 breast, uh, T2 uh, pubic hair, no signs of virulization, uh, bone age done by the referring institution and it's delayed in addition to baseline FSH, LH, and estradiol, which investigation is the most likely to lead to the correct diagnosis. So you have to do a TSH. You have to rule out uh, thyroid. Are you? Okay, so all best. Sorry. Well, the question at the end of the conversation. No, no, تفضل. The previous question um, is it applicable? Ano, patient, for example, young age or too young age? انه اسوي عليها اللاب تيست لايك جينيريك تيست وتروح اللاب وترجع اسوي لها لاب ثاني يعني ان ان فاكت انه مثلا انا اي كان ابلاي لايك ام ار اي فور لايك 70% اوف ذا كيسز ايديوباثيك اند ذا ريمينينج 20% اللي هي كود بي هاماتوما انسيفلايتس اند سو اون اوكي از ات ذا تيست ابلكبل انه انا يعني ابلاي في الكلينيك ذا جي ان ار اتش ستيميليشن تيست The GNR stimulation test, the patient needs to be admitted and it's done overnight. Uh, okay, you. so you need the patient yeah, to be admitted in the hospital. عشان ما حتقدر تودي البيشنت يعني قلت لك البروتوكول يختلف يختلف من an institute to another. في institutes بتسوي FSA sorry التست أو بتقيس ال response Uh, at 15 minutes, but then at 30 minutes, but then after an hour, فما ما حتقدر تخلي المريضة تروح وتيجي. فهو عادة بيعملو as an inpatient the test هذا. Okay. So now we're going to talk about causes of GnRH independence or uh, peripheral uh, precocious puberty. So we have the ovarian cyst or tumors such as granulosa cell, androgen producing um, uh, tumors, benign follicular cyst, mixed uh, germ cell tumors or gonadoblastomas. They account for about 11%. Um, Some uh, autonomous uh, gonadal activation, such as the McKine Albright uh, and recurrent uh, autonomous ovarian cyst, due to somatic activation and maturation of the GNAS gene. Uh, adrenal feminization, such as the adenomas and the carcinomas. Adrenal masculization, such as the uh, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Uh, ectopic uh, GnRH, uh, sorry, ectopic gonadotropins or HCG production, um, uh, such as tumors that secrete those uh, kinds of uh, hormones, uh, primary hypothyroidism, uh, and exposure to uh, endogenous agents such as uh, sex steroids or um, uh, estrogenic endocrine uh, disrupting uh, chemicals. So the too early um, uh, and uh, hyper uh, androgenism, so we have the premature adrenarchy, uh, heterosexual precocious puberty. Uh, usually the workup for those patients, we do the 17-hydroxyprogesterone, uh, the DAEAS, uh, the free testosterone, uh, androstenedione, abdominal and pelvic ultrasound to rule out virilize, virilizing uh, ovarian tumors or adrenal tumors. Uh, in case of idiopathic premature adrenarchy, usually it happens at the age of five to eight. Uh, and usually what we do is the DHEA and Andrastina Dion. Um, and we do the bone age. Uh, you're going to find it uh, slightly uh, advanced with two uh, standard deviation. Uh, future risks for those patients, they um, uh, may develop in the future uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome uh, or, and uh, metabolic uh, syndrome. Uh, two to eight uh, percent with uh, early pubic hair um, will um, be classified or will be diagnosed as uh, non-classical um, uh, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. So this is a six-year-old uh, presents with the T3 breast development, T2 pubic hair. Her height is on the 97th uh, percentile. Uh, previous data shows that she has grown eight centimeters in the past year. Her investigation pattern is as followed. Her FSH and LH 
uh, the basal FSH and LH is increased, estradiol is increased, bone age is advanced, the uh, testosterone is normal, and after doing a GnRH response, uh, she has LH dominant. Okay, so the patient Hadi has central precautions because of the LH dominant. Her final um, predicted height is estimated to be 140 centimeters. Her CNS uh, imaging um, is normal. The best management for this patient may include ophrectomy, dexamethasone, thyroid replacing therapy, uh, GnRH agonist, or observation. So when should central precautions PBRT be treated? So uh, usually we observe them for uh, three to six months uh, unless um, advanced at presentation. Okay, so you treat well, how to estimate the height and then Mid -paternal, uh, mid paternal height, uh, Hanesibu, you who paternal height Nagas Palataj, Zaid and maternal height, Waksimha Ala Ipne. Okay, uh, Fahada, Elihua, Al Torigal Ines, Nesipfiha, Al Height Adetan, Fi Al Atfar. Okay, so treatment for central precautious puberty. And then the GnRH um, agonist, uh, we give it every four weeks or every uh, 12 weeks. It depends on the dose. Uh, what does it do? Usually it downregulates the, pub uh, the pituitary GnRH receptors, desensitize the pituitary gonadotropin and inhibits the LH and FSH release. Um, Stop treatment diamond alil nasil hum and the hum congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Usually I do a bone scan or a follow up adetan kulman marida tiji. We're gonna uh, ask about the height, weight, um, check the breast, uh, the growth velocity. Usually the follow up is done every three to six months. Al bone age every six months, um, baseline uh, LH, GnRH stimulation test between the months of one, three, and at six and 12 months. Uh, ultrasound to monitor uterine size and ovarian uh, cyst. So this is an eight-year-old girl uh, presents with progressive fluctuating signs of precocious puberty. Examination reveals cafe spots. Uh, she has a four centimeter right ovarian cyst on ultrasound and lytic bone lesions on x-ray. Her GnRH stimulation tests demonstrate a suppressed response. Um, the best treatment option for her precautious puberty would be ovarian cystectomy, dexamethasone, thyroid replacement, litrazole, and GnRH agonist. So, the patient has the cafe cafeolase spots where lytic bone changes. The response is suppressed, so she's not central. The criteria is the syndrome, which is macron albright syndrome, and usually the treatment is the aromatase inhibitor, like the litrazole. So, a syndrome of Latifa, the issue is here in the home, is here in the home, which is somatic activation uh, and mutation of the GNAS uh, gene. Uh, usually, because the um, symptoms have to be precautious puberty, but uh, peripheral, because they have cafe or a skin lesion, because uh, they have poly. Uh, polyostic uh, fibrous dysplasia, ovarian cyst, and hyperfunctioning endocrinopathies. Al prevalence become from one uh, in a hundred thousand to one in a million. Uh, diagnosis become clinically, while treatment usually become elihua aromatase inhibitors or elihua esterms. Uh, aromatase inhibitors, they are letrozole, western they elihua tamoxifen. It doesn't cross the midline, okay? It doesn't cross the midline. The other thing is lytic fibrous bone uh, changes that are in them. Which of the following represents the correct timing for um, initiating investigation for primary amenorrhea? So if no menses by the age of 13 in the presence of secondary sexual characteristics, 
no menses by the age of 13 in the absence of secondary sexual characteristics, no menses by the age of 14 in the presence of secondary sexual characteristics, and no menses by the age of 17 in the presence of secondary sexual characteristics, or no menses by the uh, first year after the onset of tilarki. طبعا في السؤال هذا يبغى اللي هو الإجابة حقت اللي هو ال اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد ال ال definition of primary amenorrhea. Okay, so the answer no menses by the age of thirteen and absence of the secondary sexual characteristic. The primary amenorrhea تقسيمتها بيكون أول الابروتش حقها ممكن نقسمها as hypergonadotropin hypogonadism او hypogonadotropin hypogonadism or eugonadism okay ال hyper is the most common it accounts for about uh, 48% the hypo hypo accounts for about 28% and the idiopathic accounts for about um, 23% uh, approach for the delay of precocious puberty. So you can think about an uh, approach to the delay of, um, of menses, amenorrhea. you can think about it in this way. So, sorry, let's slide that in other front row the breast. So if breasts are not present or uterus is present, okay? Or if breast is not present and uterus is not present, لو البرست موجود والمريضة ما عندها يوترس ولو البرست موجود والمريضة عندها يوترس. So في the history you're gonna dig into the pubertal history, age of telarchy, age of adrenarchy, uh, growth history. Think about the uh, hypothalamic pituitary axis. So hypothalamus thinks about uh, stress, nutrition, uh, anosmia. Uh, tumor, exercise, excessive exercise, eating habit, uh, pituitary, think about glacteria and um, headache and vision uh, disturbance or vision changes. Uh, ovarian, think about uh, an ovulation and uh, cyst, um, cancer treatment and dysgenesis, thyroid symptoms, uh, adrenal, think about hirsutism, stria, um, acne, virilization, um, medical history and what medications the patient are taking. Uh, and of course, you have to uh, ask about sexual history. Um, uh, and don't forget to ask about if the patient is possibly pregnant or not. Uh, general examination, you're going to um, you're gonna examine the height, uh, weight, uh, look for stigmata of uh, Turner's, stigmata of PCOS, um, palpation of the thyroid, assessment of any abdominal masses, uh, Tanner staging uh, for the uh, test and uh, for the breast and for the uh, pubic hair, genital examination, assessment of uh, estrogenization, external genitalia, assessment of the hymen and patency, assessment of the presence of vagina uh, or not, cervix, is, does she have a uterus or not, and assessment of androgen effect. So this is a 16-year-old girl presents with onset of tilarchy at the age of 11 and has still yet to attain menarche. An ultrasound then reveals an absence of the uterus. On physical examination, she has breast stage five, uh, T1 pubic hair, is present with a vaginal dimple of two centimeter in length. The clitoris is normal in size. The correct diagnosis in this patient would be, so this patient has, a breast has scanty pubic hair, has a vaginal dimple, the clitoris is normal, okay? And the ultrasound reveals the absence of the uterus. So, um, Meyer Rukitinsky uh, syndrome, uh, XY gonadal dysgenesis, complete androgen insensitization, vanishing testes syndrome, or 5 alpha reductase uh, deficiency. So, this patient is complete androgen insensitivity, Lesh. لأنه عندها breast, البرست حقتها big, it's stage 5, 
عندها pubic hair ال pubic hair is very scanty عندها vaginal dimple but she doesn't have a uterus so breast development um, equals اللي هو pubertal development uh, بيكون عندهم طبعا بيكون ال ال two scenarios اللي المريضة يكون عندها breast بس ما يكون عندها uterus um, اللي هو الاندروجين insensitivity و MRKH طيب الاندروجين insensitivity sensitivity بيكون عندهم scant pubic hair في ال MRK بيكون عندهم normal uh, pattern of pubic hair طيب uh, الكاريو تايب دائما بيكون مختلف في ال two patients دول في هذه البوبيليشن اللي هو الاندروجين insensitivity بيكونوا uh, XY في ال MRK بيكونوا XX اوكي um, طبعا في ال androgen insensitivity بيكون ال androgens عندهم increased في ال MRK بيكونوا normal uh, ال MRI طبعا في ال MRK to see if the patient has any other associated abnormalities uh, طبعا she doesn't have a uterus uh, you have to check the kidneys and you have to ha check اللي هو uh, the skeletal system an adolescent presents with a one-year history of cyclical abdominal pain. Uh, she is T5 uh, breast and doesn't report menses. A palpable abdominal mass is evident. Her external genitalia examination is as follow. Which of the following statement is true regarding this diagnosis? The mean age at presentation is about 16. The upper tract reproductive anomalies are infrequent. Diagnosis is only possible at puberty. Surgical repair is only possible at puberty. It's the most common malarian anomaly. طبعاً اللي هو الأبر تراك الأبر تراك reproductive anomalies are frequent. طيب, differential diagnosis must differentiate from other outflow tract anomalies. طبعاً عندنا اللي هو transverse uh, septum وعندنا partial vaginal agenesis و cervical agenesis. طبعاً كلها نفرق بين بيها بالMRI والphysical examination. طيب, لو المريضة عندها breast وعندها uterus, okay, so this means that either outflow tract obstruction وقلنا الأبستركشن إما بيكون اللي هو الـ uh, imperforated hymen or septum أو بيكون عندي اللي هو الـ anovulation طيب بس um, على الـ anovulation طبعا عندنا a lot of uh, categories under the anovulation the most common is the PCOS um, الـ PCOS مفروض زي ما كلنا عارفين إنه يعني to diagnose PS PCOS you have to have uh, two out of the three criteria of Rotterdam, اللي هو hyperandrogenism, uh, amenorrhea or oligomenorrhea, or اللي هو ultrasound um, uh, evidence of uh, PCOS. An ovulation can be secondary to the hyperandrogenism, either due to adrenal or ovarian causes, or can be secondary to اللي هو um, uh, uh, obesity. Type a 14 year old presents with an absence of either tilarchy or menarche. Other relevant uh, physical examination characteristics are Taban Zeman Tushafin, she's short and the hello set ears, uh, cute as bulgus, and the ha mafi uterus by ultrasound, tanner stage, pubic hair is normal. Which of the following diagnostic investigation pattern is consistent with this diagnosis? هل TSH حقها حيكون normal, prolactin normal, uh, midroxyprogesterone test بيكون negative, هل FSH بيكون low, estradiol low, free testosterone بيكون normal. طبعاً إيش الدiagnosis في هذه الpatient? Um, Turner syndrome. 
Mumtaz Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome goes under ish hyper and uh, well, hypogonadotropin. Hyper gonad. Ash? Hyper hyper gonad. Hyper hyper. 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 Hyper negative حيكون طبعا ال FSH وال LH elevated وال estradiol low لانه المرضى اللي بيكون عندهم turners بيكون عندهم premature ovarian failure so premature ovarian insuffic insufficiency بيكون عندهم um, uh, uterus but they have no breast ال gonadal dysgenesis turner اللي هو 40x uh, um, uh, 45x uh, Al-Swire syndrome بيكون uh, XY هاد الكاريوتايبس حقتهم الأوتوإميون أوفرايتس uh, ممكن يسوي اللي هو premature ovarian insufficiency uh, fragile X um, iatrogenic ممكن الناس اللي بياخدوا radiation to the pelvis يصير عندهم ovarian uh, decrease في ال ovarian function or some chemotherapy agents can cause اللي هو um, uh, decreased ovarian um, function. طبعا المانجمنت اوف تيرنر الانسدنت حقه بيكون 1 in uh, 1900 to um, 1 in 13,000 birth. Um, usually you have to assess for associated medical conditions such as renal ultrasound. Usually they have uh, horseshoe kidneys. Um, echocardiogram, usually uh, they have bicast aortic valve and coarctation of the aorta and aortic valve disease. So the most common thing that they have in the heart is the bicast aortic valve. The most dangerous thing is the coarctation of the aorta. Uh, endocrine referral, uh, you have to start uh, growth hormone for optimizing uh, future growth potential. Um, induction of sexual, uh, of secondary sexual characteristic, uh, and those pay, an induction of secondary sexual characteristic be can be illegal hormonal replacement. Al, um, gonadectomy, if they have a Y chromosome, uh, should be done at time of puberty. This is a 15 year old uh, that is brought into uh, for uh, to be investigated for primary amenorrhea and lack of breast development. Uh, she has a normal vaginal introitus, the uterus is palpable on uh, rectal abdominal examination. Uh, she is a ballet dancer. Her height is uh, 165 centimeter. Her weight is 45 kilograms. Her BMI is 16.5. Her heart rate is 60. Her blood pressure is 90 over 70. She has a normal thyroid, normal, uh, um, um, has uh, no glacturia, and she has lanugo hair. These uh, are her investigations. So she has a normal TSH, normal prolactin, low FSH and estradiol and LH, and her medrexiprogesterone challenge test is negative. The appropriate management of this patient would be a combined hormonal replacement therapy, uh, metformin, gain weight, bromocryptin, while a cyclical progesterone withdrawal. Gain weight. One. Gain weight gain. Combination. Yeah. Gain weight. اختلف العلماء الله طيب واحدة هذه هذه المريضة اللي حطيتها في الصورة هذه عندها نيروكسيا نيرفوزا واضح. طيب. Uh, she's very slim, very thin. Uh, she's a ballet dancer طبعا ما تقدر وزنها يزيد عشانها بترقص uh, ballet. Um, و, uh, everything else uh, is normal. طيب ما عاد انه طبعا she's lacking of, uh, of the breast while BMI حقها is very low. طيب. In order to treat those patients with anorexia nervosa, they need to gain weight. طيب. If she gains weight, her menses will resume. طيب. So first, they need to gain weight, so you have to refer them to um, a dietitian. Uh, they need um, uh, behavior uh, uh, therapy as well. So you, uh, it's a multidisciplinary team uh, approach in managing uh, such cases. طيب الهايبوثالامك امينوريا طبعا 
بتكون اللي هي الايتنج ديس اوردرز زي اللي هي الانوركسيا نيرفوزا والبوليميا ممكن يكون اكسرسايز انديوس طبعا كيف الاكسرسايز انديوس الناس اللي هم الاثلتكس دول اللي دي ليفت ويت دي دونت ايت ا لوت سو دي دونت هاف ماتش فات so they become uh, amenorrheic at one uh, stage of, uh, of their exercising. Mungkin kun stress-induced, mungkin chronic illnesses or Kalman syndrome. Tayyip, for the chronic illnesses, mungkin ashan al chronic malnutrition, mungkin uh, kun due to the illness itself or mungkin secondary to some medications that they are taking. Um, al Kalman, طبعاً هو genetic disorder. Um, it affects one uh, in 50,000 females. بيكون عندها migration disorder of the GnRH neuron due to mutation in the Cal1 gene, uh, fibroblast growth factors. وبيكون عندهم anosmia. طيب بيكون عندهم حاسة الشم مفقودة. Uh, consider uh, CNS imaging, uh, MRI, um, if elevated prolactin, as we have neurological, uh, look for other neurological signs such as headache, visual field, um, um, and persistent amenorrhea with no uh, other etiologies. So this is the approach, this is my approach for amenorrhea. So if a woman has a breast and has a uterus, look for outflow uh, tract obstruction, check her prolactin, look for signs of hypothyroidism and look for uh, signs of PCOS and hypothalamic dysfunction, okay? If she doesn't have a uterus and has a breast, so if she's either androgen insensitivity or uh, Mullerian agenesis, um, usually in those uh, patients, you have to do imaging and you have to do karyotype uh, and uh, examine the patient. Uh, patient has a uterus but has no breast, so look for hypothalamic or pituitary failure. Um, look for hypergonadotropic uh, hypo and uh, hypogonadism, such as Lihua and Turner syndrome or gonadal dysgenesis. Um, if, a, if a, a woman has a breast and has no uterus and no breast, so it's XY karyotype, mungkin kun endahom deficiencies in some of the enzymes, mungkin kun congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Precautious hip puberty, what you need to know, the difference between complete and incomplete, different between central and peripheral, uh, investigate if less than seven years if she's white, if less than six if she's black or if she has rapid uh, growth uh, or any CNS uh, symptoms uh, that are new. MRI head if central um, uh, causes and she's less than six um, years of age and if she has any rapid neurological manifestation. Um, treat the underlying causes. Uh, treat اللي هو central if she's less than six. Um, consult for اللي هو behavior issues um, and um, give them treatment uh, for adjusting their uh, height. Uh, in the amenorrhea, we al slide al akhira hadi. This is what you need to know about the amenorrhea. إذا you memorize the slide هذه وكذا um, ال ال um, التقسيمة حقتها إن شاء الله أمين وري حتكون عليك ومرة سهلة. Questions. دكتورة حنين I have two questions please. أضل. Um, MC Alper syndrome. إحنا حنعطي له let result serums. This is the part to, to treat the precious property. So mm -hmm. what about the other side? Yani, should be endocrinologist involved in this case? Well, uh, only yeah. this is the treatment overall. Multidisciplinary team. So you can involve the endocrine, you can involve the orthopedics, and you can involve the dermatologist. And from your side, um, from your point of view, you're going to treat the precautious puberty, while other uh, manifestations will be treated with uh, by the other doctors. And when you treat with the Litrazole, 
uh, eventually uh, other manifestations uh, will regress. Okay, thank you. The, the other question is, the people who have polycystic ovary, hey. so there is still the uh, LHFSH ratio, one of the they needed investigation or we should خلاص, just follow the progesterone at day 21 or 22 at plus the free testosterone. Okay. So the al, al ratio had the FSH and LH ratio, it was taken out, taken out a long time ago. طيب. But there are a lot of people still doing it. So you can't do it like this. 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 When you get the results back, you're going to see that the uh, LH ratio, the LH to the FSH ratio is doubled, okay? But we don't order it per se as an order. Okay, I got you. Thank you.